Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you guys about working with numbers in C. Now, a lot of times when we're writing programs in C, we're gonna to wanna to do different things with numbers, whether that's just storing numbers and keeping track of them, or adding, multiplying, subtracting, doing math with numbers, or you know, really just dealing with numbers in general. So I'm just gonna give you guys a basic overview of a lot of the stuff we can do with numbers. We're also gonna talk about how different number types interact, so how like integers and doubles interact and, and all that fun stuff. So down here, I am printing out a number. So you can see I'm using this printf function and inside of these quotation marks, I'm basically saying percent %f, and percent %f stands for like a floating point number. So that could be either a double or a float, basically a decimal number. So when we put percent %f in here, it's gonna allow us to print out a decimal number, just like this. And you can see I can run my program and it'll print out 8.9. And you'll notice that it's printing out not just 8.9, but it's also printing it out to a very precise decimal point. And that's what C is always gonna do. So it's always gonna print it out to you know, a very precise decimal. So using these decimals, I can do all sorts of stuff. So obviously I can just print out the decimal, but I could also do things like math. So I could say like 5.0 plus 4.5 and this is gonna go ahead and be able to do that for us. So when I run my program, not only is it gonna like print this out, but it's gonna do the actual math operation. And you see we get 9.5. So in addition to addition, we can also use subtraction, division, which is gonna be a forward slash, and multiplication, which is gonna be an asterisk. And you can use all these different things to you know, do the four basic math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So now I wanna talk about how we can use uh, floating point numbers, so like doubles and floats, alongside integers. So let's say I was going to add an integer with a double. So if I said five plus 4.5, well, actually, when we do this, this entire answer is gonna get converted into a decimal number. So when I say five, which is an integer, plus 4.5, we're gonna get a floating point number back. So we're gonna get 9.5. And basically, any operation that you do between an integer and a floating point number is going to return a floating point number back. So that's important to realize. But if I was to change this to four, now this isn't gonna work anymore because this is asking for a floating point number and we're giving it an integer. So when I do math with two integers, it's gonna give us an integer back. And if I do math with a floating point number and integer, it'll give us a floating point number back. It's also important to realize, for example, if I took five and divided it by four, this should actually be a decimal number, right? And you'd expect us to get a decimal back. But if I just printed out percent %d, so if I printed out the result of the integer five divided by the integer four, I'm actually gonna get an integer back. So when I run the program, you'll see we're getting a one here. But really, this sh like the answer is one technically, but it's one with a bunch of decimal points after it, right? It's one plus a bunch of other stuff. Um, but when we just do math with two integers, we're gonna get an integer back. If I was to say five divided by 4.0, and I printed out a decimal, now we're gonna get the entire answer back. So we're gonna get 1.25. So that's just a little bit about dealing with uh, integers and floating point numbers. We could also take these and put these into variables. So, you know, in addition to just having numbers down here, I could specify a variable like, you know, num set it equal to six. And we can go ahead and print num out down here as well. I'm gonna need to make this a D. So now we'll be able to print out that variable with no problem. So it can be really useful sometimes to store these numbers inside of variables. I also wanna to talk to you guys about using more complex mathematical functions. Now in C, we have these things called functions, which are basically just little blocks of code that we can call. And when we call them, they're gonna go off and do certain things for us. So they'll like modify a value or give us information about a value. And these functions can be really useful. I'm gonna show you guys a couple functions that we can use with math. So I'm just gonna come over here and I can actually start using these functions. And all you have to do is just type out the name of the function that you wanna use. So by default, C is gonna give us access to a bunch of math functions that we can use. So we really don't have to do anything. All we have to do is just type in their names. And I'm gonna show you guys one, it's just POW. So I'm just typing in POW. Then I'm gonna type in open and closed parentheses. And inside of this parentheses, I can actually give this two numbers. What this is gonna do is it's gonna take the first number that we give it, and it's gonna take it to the second number. So if I said like two and three, 
and you'll notice I'm separating them with a comma, this is basically gonna give us two raised to the third power. So it'll give us two cubed. So when I run my program, and actually we need to print this out as a decimal number. So this is gonna give us a decimal number back. So I need to print this out with F. When I run my program, we're gonna get eight back, just like that. So it's basically it's cubing two, I could say like four raised to the third power, and now we should get back 64, which we do. So that can be pretty useful. There's a couple other ones I'll show you. Um, another one is SQRT. So this will allow you to take a number square root. So if I said like 36 in here, now we're gonna print out uh, the square root of 36, which is gonna be six. And there's a couple other ones. So let's say that I had a decimal. I could say CEIL, which stands for ceiling. So if I had like 36.7 or 36.356, this is gonna give us the high, the next highest number. So it'll basically round this number up. And this is gonna give us 37, as you can see. Um, we can do another one, which is called floor. And floor will do the opposite. So floor will just round the number down no matter what. So if I had like 36.656, this will round it down to 36. So there's all sorts of little you know, things we can do, um, little functions that we can call and get information about numbers. And like I said, these functions will either like modify a number, so it would like give us the floor or the ceiling, or sometimes they'll like give us information about numbers. So that's sort of the basics of, of working with numbers. You know, you can do all sorts of math with numbers. You can add and subtract, multiply, and you can even multiply, add, subtract uh, integer numbers and floating point numbers. So play around with all these uh, different things with numbers. And if you wanna find some more of these little math functions, all you have to do is just go online and Google search for C math functions. There's like dozens of these little functions that you can use, but I think these are some of the most uh, widely used. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.